It is the beginning of January, and on the first weekend, I had an opportunity to do a one-night solo trip in which I opted to camp at the top of a nearby mountain in hopes of getting some cool photos. Alright, so I've been hiking for probably a little over an hour now, and there's a nice clear trail from snowmobiles and ATVs using the tracks, but Oh man, it's all uphill and the snow. My first time out snowshoeing this year, I'm feeling it. So I should have given myself a little bit more time definitely to get up here, but I think I'm still okay. I'm just gonna keep trekking. All right, so I made it up to the top, and this is what I'm blessed with for a view for the night. I haven't decided exactly where I'm gonna set up camp yet because there is a bit of a breeze, and it's supposed to be actually going down to like minus 20 tonight, so I don't know, camping at the top of a mountain when it's minus 20 isn't necessarily ideal for staying warm, so we got lots of uh, layers and stuff, so we'll just layer up and then hopefully be able to block a bit of the wind. Maybe have to use the tarp as like an A-frame or something, but. We'll figure something out. Either way, this is the view we wanted. All right, so because I'm a little bit tight on time, firewood's number one priority so I can stay warm tonight and have a little fire in the morning. And then if there's enough time, I'll work on like maybe building a little bit of a better shelter, but I don't know, we're losing daylight quickly and that could be tough. Let's get to work. A little woodpecker up there. This is what we want. Nice dead log. Hopefully it's dead. No idea when this actually fell. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> exactly. What I friggin' wanted. This wood is gonna be perfect. It's hardwood. Oh, and it's dry as hell. All right, so I was just doing, crunching some quick numbers here, looking at my GPS. My GPS doesn't actually have a compass on it, but it is oriented north. So using the track where I came in on, and based on where the sun's setting right now, fairly confident that that's west over there. So even though this is kind of the nicer view, I think I'm gonna actually set up my, my camp tonight on the other side facing Gun Lake so that I catch a nice sunrise in the morning. I mean, hopefully get some nice shots out there. I hope my math's right on that, but if not, either way I'll be up for sunrise so that we can uh, get some great photos, get some nice clips. But I'm already blown away by what I've gotten out of this hike so far. So sick. I'm also very tempted to crack into the beer that I brought, but I'm gonna hold off, get this tent set up. We'll go from there. I just can't stop looking at this view right now because it's just like. I, you know what, I'm gonna have a quick sip of beer. Also wanna make sure it didn't pop on me like it did to Noah on his solo winter trip because that would be shitty. But learning from his mistake, I put my beers inside a Ziploc this time. So I'm hoping that 
even if they did pop, the damage would be mitigated, but who knows what we're gonna get into. They made it. Slightly shaken. Oh, so good. All right, so what I've done, cleared out this area where I'll have my fire, and then I built a little platform here so that my idea is that I'll sleep here with the tarp kind of going down and then up over top of me like this, creating just a little bit of like a, a tunnel and then hopefully the heat bouncing off the rock will keep me warm up here and then if I pack this in enough, it won't, uh, it won't melt on me so, or it won't melt too much overnight. So that's the plan. All right, so this tarp setup didn't quite work out as I was hoping. I'm gonna get a fire going in here and then prop this up with a stick because otherwise this is just gonna get in the way of the fire. And then honestly, when, I, when it's time to go to bed, I might honestly just like undo this and just burrito myself inside the, uh, the tarp just cause the freezing rain has started to come down. I could hear it like clinking off the tarp. Seems to have stopped again right now, but it's only a matter of time before it starts up again. And I don't want to get soaked in freezing rain tonight because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be jokes. So Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I should have thought this through a little bit more before coming out here, but in my head this just seemed like a good idea. But maybe it's because my ropes aren't completely tight, so like maybe once I'm lying in there and I push back on the corner, maybe it'll tighten out and maybe this will just be like a perfect V, but I don't know, it's not, it's not looking too promising right now, but I'm gonna try to get a fire going in the meantime because it's getting dark and it'd be nice to have a little bit of heat. Mr. Noodles extraordinaire.
That was perfect. This is pretty nice too. So it's starting to snow now, or or freezing rain, I can't really tell. It's either snowing or freezing, or there's freezing rain right now. But something's ricocheting off the tarp. Hopefully the wind doesn't change directions right now it's pretty perfect the smoke's moving out of the the tarp and I'm just in this heat chamber over here it's actually worked out pretty well but if it gets if the snow gets bad I could always knock this stick down and the tarp will like drop a level so that's maybe an option for while I'm sleeping tonight Hey guys, it is th about 3 in the morning and the wind has picked up incredibly. Obviously the weather forecast has changed or something or maybe it's because I'm camped on top of a mountain. But I actually had to cut all the ropes to the tarp and I've just wrapped myself like a burrito. And uh, it, it's significantly warmer now. The tarp was just acting like a sail, just flapping in the wind, and so uh, I've just I've completely wrapped myself. Which is why I've got this really fancy blue roof right now. All right, so it is now five in the morning, and the winds have gotten so strong. I'm holding down the tarp with like everything I've got. I don't know if you can see that right now. It's, it's a slow period right now, but. The winds are ripping. I'm not looking forward to getting out of this cocoon, but I'm gonna have to shortly. I want to get back in good time today, and it's just like, oh, this is this is just gonna be interesting. But the winds are just ripping. There's not as like earlier you could at least see some light in the sky. It's just dark clouds now, so I anticipate we're gonna probably get a decent amount of snow. Snow has been falling this morning. Crazy. So it's seven o'clock, the wind is howling, and <laughs> spree jokes. This was the burrito set up last night. I don't know how well you can see that right now. I just wrapped myself like a cocoon in here. My hands are frozen. My feet are cold because my boots, uh, Got a little bit of snow in them last night. And my snow pants were frozen. My boots were frozen. Just tough morning this morning. But I was gonna make some coffee before I headed out, but I don't think this morning is gonna be very great for photos anyways. So I think I'm just gonna pack up and hit the road sooner rather than later make it back in good time. Good news is, is as far as walking goes, it's all downhill from here. So, I will appreciate that. And we made it through the night in our little burrito. I changed my mind. I love coffee too much. We're still making it. So, it looks like my stove doesn't perform as well when it gets super cold because of the butane. So, it's working, but we'll see if it actually boils. Coffee time. Welcome to the mountainous coffee shop. 
where the water is boiled and ready to go. Oh man, that smells so good. See that coffee brew? Give it a little shake for good luck. Mmm. Oh. I did also bring a little flask of 40 Creek cream, just as a little treat for the coffee. I didn't necessarily pack the lightest on this trip, but it was kind of worth it to have these extra little things with me uh, small things that count you know like having a little little flask of 40 Creek cream to just a dab will do you inside your coffee I don't know maybe two dabs Worth every bit of the process. That is that good stuff. It's a little bit unfortunate that you can see cell towers from up here. It's actually a pretty remote area. You don't get cell service anywhere down below, but uh, yeah, you can see some cell towers and then at night you can really see the cottagers. But uh, yeah, this place is 20 minutes from my house in Palmer Rapids and it was an hour hike up to the top, so pretty sweet. Nice close to home spot that still feels remote. And it was pretty cool climbing a mountain for a night of winter camping in a in a burrito tarp. <laughs> Who doesn't love a night on top of a mountain in a burrito tarp? I don't know many. I know a lot of people that like burrito tarps. <laughs>